Welcome. In the last video, we created our first application, which did something simple, such as to say hello world. In this video, I just want to take a, a brief moment to talk about the different types of programming errors that you may encounter when you're writing software. The reason I want to do that now is because part of becoming a good programmer is to get the habit of just practicing, to get little side projects, to do maybe something of interest and somehow apply programming to this area of interest. And so therefore, I want you to be uh, to take into consideration the different kinds of errors that you could encounter when you're writing any kind of piece of software. So let's get started. C++ has particular uh, methods, particular way of writing things. You know, I couldn't say, for instance, printf. That is the name of this function. Or that is the name of this thing that I have included from this code that I borrow from somebody else, right? What happens if I misspell it? Well, let's just put another f at the end. Notice I get this red squiggly line underneath. This is very similar to what happens in things like Microsoft Office, like Word or PowerPoint. You misspell a word, it tells you, hey, you wrote something bad. Now, Visual Studio checks that make, checks to make sure that our code is properly written. When there is a mistake, like a typo, it tells us with the red squiggly line. So these kinds of mistakes that have this red squiggly line, they're called syntax errors. So again, C++ is a language, and just like any other language, it follows a particular rules. You know, you have to say, you know, for instance, int is int. I couldn't say int a. That's wrong. I get another error. So these are syntax errors, and Visual Studio can identify these errors. He can tell us, hey, there's something wrong here. You need to fix it. Syntax errors are nice because, again, the IDE can help us uh, find those errors. So then I can go here and say, okay, it's just printf. There's another type of error that's called a runtime error. The runtime error is not an error that Visual Studio can help us with because it's an error that only happens when your application is running. So if I hit play, right, my application is now running in this console. So if you've ever had an application crash on you, it freezes, it just closes, you get a little pop-up that says error and it closes. Those are called runtime errors. The application properly compiled to machine code but something about it just didn't work while it was running and it crashed. Those are called runtime errors. And then there's a third type of error and that's called a logical error. So I want to say hello world, right? What if I misspell world and I say word? Hello word and I run it, right? It compiled, everything is fine. There is no mistakes, there is no runtime errors, there are no crashes and it compiled. Well notice, but now it says hello word, right? It doesn't, it doesn't do what the application was supposed to do. That's called a logical error or a logic error. And basically those are errors that we as a programmer make. We try to do one thing, but we either have a typo, we are thinking of the wrong thing, perhaps instead of adding, we subtract. Those things are called logical errors and basically they're an error that is happening to our logic. As a programmer, you will have to be able to identify these three errors almost every day because we make mistakes and that's completely fine. Syntax errors, however, thanks to the IDE, it helps us find those much easier because if we have a syntax error, let's just put the F again, right? If I try to compile, so I go to build, build solution. Here on my thing, it says, hey, print F. I could not find that. I don't know what you want me to do. I can't do it. So now we say, okay, I have a syntax error somewhere. Oh, here it is. So I just fix it. And that's it, right? So syntax errors are the easiest kind of error to find. The other two, not so much. And sometimes I've spent almost an entire day trying to fix the smallest error in the world. And when you're done, you're like, I can't believe I spent a whole day doing this. But hey, I tell you this because it is likely that it, it will happen to you. It still happens to me after years of programming from time to time. So when it happens to you, don't feel bad. It's just, it's just kind of part of the experience. So embrace it. You know, it, it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Now, another thing I want to talk to you is I said we need these two pieces of code, right? Well, what happens if I remove them? Let's just, let's just delete everything. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it out, right? And I'm going to try and build, right? Remember I said there are syntax errors. Well, there, here's one error. It says, hey, um, I'm looking, if you can see here, it says, hey, I, I'm looking for a function called main. 
Uh, you don't have it, man. I can't. I can't compile this. If you don't give me that main main function, um, that main little piece of code that we wrote, I can't do nothing about it. So again, main is essential to every C plus plus program. You need these two lines of code. All right. We don't need this. I mean, we can have an empty application if we delete that and we run it. Oh, okay. So a little I forgot to mention. You can skip by hitting build. If you hit play, it'll automatically do both. It'll build and then run. So just a shortcut. Notice that hey, there's nothing. It's just an empty application. And that's fine. You can you can create an empty application. There's no problem with that. So print f uh, again, ju it just says hello world. In this case, we had a logical error. So we have three types of errors. Syntax errors, which are the errors when we do not follow the proper syntax of the C++ language. We have runtime errors, which are errors that we did follow the right syntax of the C++ language. The code compiled, but something happened in the middle of the execution of your program that made it crash. And then we have logical errors. There's no syntax errors. Your code compiles. It doesn't crash. Everything works smoothly. However, it doesn't do what the software is intended to do. As you program and you encounter issues, I want you to consider these three. Fortunately, the first type of error, the syntax error, IDEs like Visual Studio, they help us solve these kinds of problems. Runtime errors and logical errors, however, they are a little bit harder to find. But it's a good idea to consider, well, what kind of error are you having when your application isn't working? Do note that it is possible for you to have a runtime error because you have a logical error. We will see more things as we progress through this video series and we are required to write software that is much more larger and you would encounter bigger projects, you will come across different kinds of errors. And it's just a good idea to consider these three as you become a better programmer and you practice and you learn new things. I hope you found this video useful. If you did and you don't mind, leave a like. If you're new to this video, to this channel, check out the video series or check out the channel for other programming videos. Be safe and peace out.